Hello, Chicago. This is my first time in your fair city, and I'm here to paint the town. However, there's no paint on my brush. You see, recently I was fixing someone, pontificating what they should do. It was so obvious what their motivations and reasons were. And one of the elders looked at me and said, child, why are you painting that boy with your own brush? And it's dirty. <laughs> Not me. I am the queen of inclusion. I give everybody a fair chance. There is no way, and then I stopped. And I remembered David. You see, I run a very large poll site in New York. And poll workers, just like voters, come from everywhere. So when this guy rolls in at 5 o'clock in the morning, attitude, barking, I knew I was in trouble. But when a belligerent voter came up to me, the only one who stood calmly by my side to make sure I was OK was David. You see, I had painted him with my own colors. I had taken the data that I had seen, and I decided what it meant. I decided who he was. We are all so very good at collecting data, at analyzing data, at manipulating the data. But sometimes we forget. Data equals people. Data equals relationships. Data is not just numbers. It is so easy for us to take the palette of our expectations and decide we know what every bucket means. It's how we get through the day. We all do it. So I want you to take that palette and look at this picture. And I want you to decide who this woman is. Where is she from? What does she sound like? And then you're going to have to back up and clean your brushes. And you're going to have to interact with the data. You're going to have to ask her who she is. And you will find out that my friend Sylvia is from South Carolina, lives in New York, is a world traveler, is a financial analyst for one of the largest companies in America. And you better believe her attendance at your cultural event is not predicated on your discount code. <laughs> Clean your brushes. It's the difference between diversity, where all the colors are in the room, but there are lines between them. They're not interacting. Yellow is looking at red and going, you better not try to make me orange. <laughs> and inclusion, where all the colors are represented. They're all crisp and clean and clear, but they are next to each other. They're highlighting each other. So now you know I'm a joker. I want you to take a look at this picture. Pull out your palette. Make some assumptions about who she is, what she does. But unless you're in the dance world, I'm going to guess you didn't come up with this. And I'm also going to let you know, if you tell her she's inspirational, you will get run over. <laughs> and it will hurt. It's the difference between imposing what you think it means and asking it what it means. And what happens if you don't do that? If you put your color onto your data, you're going to end up in trouble with muddy data. <laughs> oh, come on. I know there are more geeks in here than that. Yes. <laughs> so Chicago, Tessitura, I am here to paint the town. I brought clean brushes. I am here to absorb everything you've got and to use the colors that you give me to paint you. And if I mess up, tap me on the shoulder. And if you mess up, I'll tap you. Thank you. <laughs>